in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And in, the, in some Orthodox churches, we say the sign, of, we do the sign of the cross with three fingers for Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The two fingers which stay are the two natures in Christ in the womb of the Virgin Mary, according to Colossians 2, 9, that in him dwells all the fullness of the divine nature. In o katiki pan to pliroma tis theotitos. Well, dear friends, I would like uh, to say hello to the people, to everyone who is English speaking, especially to the people of the United States of America who will soon be electing the president, and also, on, especially to the people in California, because many of my uh, nephews, a uh, couple of nieces, uh, and then grand nephews and nieces, do live in California. Because today I met someone who, who left the Catholic Church and who now is belonging to a denomination, probably either, let's say, either Baptist or Pentecostal, anyway, but somewhere born in California. I'm not going to discuss uh, that denomination. It's one among many, too many denominations actually, in contrast with the one Catholic Church, in contrast with the Orthodox Church. But I just wanted to give some details. I hope they are accurate. California used to be part of Mexico until 1848. It passed then to the United States of America. The mediator was a minister called Santana. Of course, for us, 48 in Palestine rings a bell. 1948, uh, the Nakba, the great disaster where 750 thousand Palestinians were driven out of their homes. But this is not my point. The point is that the California state apparently was founded by Franciscans, which means Roman Catholic friars, who had missions. Missions meaning missionary stations. All these stations, which keep until now their Spanish and, of course, Catholic names, San Francisco, St. Francis, Los Angeles, the Angels, San Diego, Sacramento, San Antonio, San Jose, which means St. Joseph, all these were missions of the Franciscans where they were preaching the Word of God. Among them I, I would of, of course quote Junipero Serra, a very holy Franciscan friar. Now for the, the very name California was given by the Franciscans. And if I am not mistaken again, it comes from two Latin words, Calida for Nax, because the weather there is relatively warm and hot, especially in comparison with other parts of the United States of America, or actually with other parts of Mexico then. Calida for Nax. Calida for Nax became California. Calida for Nax means the warm, the hot furnace. So, let us not forget the past. Let us not forget or overlook the wonderful works, the wonderful achievements of the Catholic Church in California 
and everywhere. Let us not ignore history. Let's not close our eyes and ears. And with Canon Francis Ripley, who wrote a book entitled This is the Faith, let us acknowledge truth. What is truth? I think you find this in page 313 and following. That the biggest power of civilization all over the centuries is Christian, was and still is Christian priesthood. Meaning the Catholic and Orthodox priesthood are not only the pillars of spirituality, but also the pillars of progress, science, arts, and technology, at least until 1858, date of the death of one of the priest's inventors. You would say, how about the Bible? Well, it is the monks who copied the Bible manuscripts, the biblical manuscripts. Catholic monks, Orthodox monks, It is the Gutenberg printing press which edited as its first book the Bible sometime in the 15th century before Martin Luther. I mean, long before 1517. So, let us be fair. Let us acknowledge what is good, and let us criticize what is negative, but not just in the history of the Catholic Church, but also in the history of other nations and of other religions. When we criticize the behavior of people, we are not talking about the principle, we are not talking about religion, we are simply talking about human beings. And it is absurd, it does not make any sense to have people imagine that, let's say, Catholics and Orthodox are bad, the others are okay. You, you cannot claim that. And the Lord said, you cannot generalize. You cannot say that all Protestants are angels, that all Catholics are wicked, that all non-Christians are angels, that all Christians are wicked. Most Christians, you cannot generalize, and the Lord said in Matthew 7, 1, do not judge so that you may not be judged. Thank you, dear ladies and gentlemen, for your attention.